This is the guy. That's Pastor. So, here is the room that's set to be haunted malam malam. Katanya ada tempat bunyian kat sini. Katanya dia dengar bunyi semua. So, here is the place. Wait! This is Aver213 and today we are currently in our temporary room here in YTM Shadam in College Maranti, Maranti College, whatever we're gonna call it. So this is a temporary room because we're gonna be handling some PMBS students, isn't it, Roy? Hmm? We are gonna be handling PMBS students. Not sure. Not sure. Registration. <laughs> but we, but we, yeah, we're gonna be helping some students coming in into this college. But the thing is, today, we are going to be trying to discover and find a room here in College Maranti Which I think is kind of haunted But hear me out first I'm not trying to, trying to scare you guys I'm not trying to defame or tarnish the reputation the good name of UITM or anything This is done for educational purposes And we have to admit that these paranormal, phenomenal things happen every day in our lives So it's completely normal, isn't it, right? So all you have to do is you have to have that strong Iman thing, you have to have that strong faith. And without further ado, I think we're gonna go right outside and we're gonna go to that particular place. To that place which has that sort of paranormal tendency and kind of just trying to go to, just trying to go figure things out, right? So, are you ready, boy? Hmm? Are you ready, man? Kau lah ready, aku yeah, temani. Have, have <laughs> so, it's gonna be my, you know, gonna temani throughout the whole day. And now we're not, we're not going to go to Mawar only, I mean Ranti only, but we're going to go to Kananga because we heard that Kananga has some special things going on there too as well. So, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, let's get started. Guys, we're currently on our way to that building. That place happened at the very end. That block, that very first block at the entrance, college run. So we're gonna go head there and find something in store for us over there. Tapi man, tak yeri sao tu pat tu ada orang. Tadi, yera, room bilik dia orang, ada orang. Ada orang. Ah, dia orang tak ada apa lah man. It's nothing happened here. <laughs> the story is, yang dia kes ni jadi sebab boyfriend dia masuk eh, tempat ni. Lebih oh, kurang yeah. lah. For your information, college Marathi used to be a college for girls. So all of this right now here, it used to be a place, a, a girls college, before it turned into a guys men's college. So all the girls college are inside right now, right? So it's for the safety, for safety and security for the girls, the women, so they now they move the girls' college all inside campus. There's just only one college for guys. And then there used to be one college out there. I think college... What is it? But it got burned down because of some... College Jati. So Jat, ah, Jati. Jati, yeah. College Jati outside there. And here, right here, a girl used to live here before. And she got murdered by her boyfriend. Is it true? And then there's a witness came and the witness came in and that witness was her housemate or roommate. And then that finally that guy got what he deserved in court and then he went got his punishment. So yeah, now we're gonna check out the room. I'm just gonna check out the room first. Let's go. Alright, here it is guys. Block A room 101. And there it is guys. Here it is the room. And you have this Islamic thing up here. And here it is, the transit house. So apparently here is where the murder case happened. So what I wanna say is just Siddhika al Fatiha to those to the victim and to the family and Hope nothing like this happens ever again in your ATM.
or on T101. College Maranti. Right. Let's take out my top mind. Can you zoom in my eyes? <laughs> me, it's about my game. Me. Me, that's not it. That ticket, ah. <laughs> mm, too much games. I get it. So, guys, we're in a bus right now and could be heading to College Kanangu. But then the bus is going for those people. And if you guys want to know where College Jati is, it's right over there. You said, you guys see the fence over there? There it is. Yeah, that's College Jati. But then, unfortunately, the, the college got burnt down because somebody, I heard. Oh, yeah. Here it is, guys. This is College Jati. There used to be a lot of buildings, college buildings, I mean, where the students live, but it ended up getting raised down, just because by a secret but College Chumpaku Nanga. Alright guys, finally we are at Kananga, where this one guy and his roommate were to say that that oh, place oh. used to be a Bunian place. They hear a lot of, you know, children running around. They heard women screaming at night. And then one time when they were sleeping, they heard that their bed, there was a scratching on your bed. There was like a spoon rattling on the steel part of the bed and stuff like that. And then, so yeah, that room, it got closed down, I guess. And it hasn't been used for a very long time. And this is Kunangu. It used to be a college. First, it was a girls' college, but then it turned into a guys' college, and then after turning into a guys' college, it turned into a faculty. And now it is the Academy Penganjian Bahasa, or the English is I'm not sure. But for now, we're going to be checking out Kenanga Four, Block Four, and then we're going to the most top floor, room number something, and we're going to find that room where it was said that that place is really spooky and stuff and creepy. So let's go. Here we Thank are, you. guys. I was mistaken. It was not College Kunanga Four, but it's college, actually at College Kunanga One. So as you can see up there, yeah, here's a place where it's said to be spooky, creepy, and has that sort of apparitions lurking on those floors. So right now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be exploring that place, this abandoned college. What's actually, you know, creeping around that place? So far, I do the panagi. Okay, guys. And this is one of the Kananga colleges that's been abandoned. As you can see, there's so many foliages. So many. You know, it's really dirty. It hasn't been swept for a very long time. Broken glass on the floor. And this place is just abandoned. Really? Oh, some good drunk studies in <laughs> Oh man. Oh my god. The band is sung at the point. Some support. They don't sound point. Okay, the weird thing about this college is that they don't have the vegetation, the grass here in, in Kanangu 1, but then they have the gazebo. And we're going to the fourth floor to find the haunted room. Alright guys, we are finally on the 4th floor 
and here it is the room. Okay, number one, room 409. And what are they doing? I open the door and see what's inside. That's fast. Okay, ni semua bahan bukti untuk aman di sabit kesalahan. Pecah masuk. So here is the Tak ada kebenaran. So, so, so. This is the guy. Test passer. So, here is the room that's set to be haunted malam-malam. Katanya ada tempat bunyian kat sini. Katanya dia dengar bunyi semua. So, here is the place. Wait! Jangan kagum! Kenapa aku serang? Hey! <laughs> so, here guys. Kenangan satu empat kosong sembilan Banyak benda macam dah tanggal lah Although all the amenities and facilities Abandoned and left behind just like that Damn Oh my god Wish, what are you doing? Oh, this is the place This college is the only place Okay, I'm going to go What are you going to see? Siapa? Kipas semua rosak Ni beli dua orang kot Tapi okey lah Ada Ada apa? Oh my god Ada bilik TV apa semua tu kot Eh tadi ada bilik TV lah Ui siap ada Apa? <laughs> Main dengan kereta lagi Oh ni berapa ni? Kau cakap Tandas tu So dia orang Kalau Okay, I don't know if you guys can hear me or not Because there's a lot of cars passing by But right now we're at the Arts Faculty Down there I've been really curious when it's the first date I ever got to you, I came Shalom, and I really want to go to that place with all the gravity and all the murals and all the paintings on the walls. So I'm going to check out that place. At the first time, I thought it was a haunted place, but it turns out just to be some sort of project that the students made here at the, law, I mean at the art faculty. So I'm going to check that place out, and without further ado, let's go. So many random things here. I don't even know what this is. There's like random balls flying on the floor. Yeah, it looks like they're trying to make a snail. What the heck is this thing? Snail. Seaport. <laughs> right. This place looks like all the abandoned artwork are left here. You got like a person standing here? You got like a robot? You got even got a robot here. You got a robot. You got a robot. And then there's like random stuff. And then you got an arm. I mean a hand. Look at that big hand. And then you got more bike. With the wheels. A lot of abandoned artwork here. The one holding a golf club. And merge it into one form. As so. Ta-da! Up there. They literally have all the animals hid here. They got wolves, they got antelopes, they got moose, gorillas, crocodiles, lizards, elephants, you name it. You even got that kind of ape? I don't know what that's its name. Like a rooster. Got a rooster, you got a lion. <laughs> Ooh, 
at the eyeballs. Eyeballs. Click, 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 click. Eyeball. They made frogs! They made little cute little frogs! And like this flower, and this frog again. And they made shells. Squid. And then they made this Minangkabau tower. Wow! And then this tower from Abu Dhabi, Dubai, I guess. I guess this must be the Sydney Opera House. <laughs> Another tower. A gloating frog and his little family. He even tries to make a Gundam. Not condom, Gundam. We go inside and then I think that's gonna wrap up our adventure for the whole day.